Pogs are a fad from the 90s where you'd put these little, I don't know what we call them, paper or cardboard uh, milk can tops all on a 12 pog tower. And then you take slammers and slam them. Pogs. They're very small, thin, and made of cardboard, so they're really light. I can just pick them up, throw them around like nothing. So they come in very different shapes and material. This one's more plastic and thick. This one's a little bit thinner, but made of metal. This one's thick and made of metal. Tower. I'm just like on this little tiny stack right here of 12 pogs. It doesn't seem like that much, but it's actually very hard to flip. Okay, let's continue. Let's take this slammer right here and slam it into this tower. Like so. See, since they're all face up, the certain amount of ones that were flipped is how many points I get. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I already won the game, but you keep on going to see who will get the rest still. So I have four, five left. So then, I'll, instead of myself going, this will be my friend. He didn't flip any of them. Bullcrap. So now I go. Boom! Flip two. Now I have nine. His turn. Yep, let's go. Them all, so now he has three points versus nine. Still loses, but hey, that was a good try. I'm going to destroy the different versions of throwing the slammer. Legs. <laughs> uh, I really don't care about playing this game anymore, and I'm tired of doing this. Etiquette and for, for some rules. First off, what usually happens is you have two people who bring in six pogs each, and you put every other and you all place them face down so they don't really get scratched. But professional tournaments, they put them face up. But you know, you don't want to get your, like, icon scratched. So, uh, you both do that, and then you'll decide on who goes first. Each of you take a turn slamming.